We got your weather, we got your news, we got your sports updates and your food. This the morning's at Mount. This the morning's at Mount. We got your weather, we got your news, we got your sports updates and your food. This the morning's at Mount. Yeah, this the morning's at Mount. Good morning, Mount Pleasant Green Knights. I am Michael. And I'm Nadia. And this is Morning Set Mount. Today is Friday, February 16th, and it is a one day. Now please stand for the pledge. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Please stand for a moment of silence. Thank you. Please be seated. Today's weather will be partly sunny with a high of 43 and a low of 31. Tomorrow will be cloudy with a high of 37 and a low of 25. A quick reminder to everyone, remember to grow, get ready to learn, review what you know, and open your mind to wonder and ask questions because we are Mount. Now for our Black History Month fact of the day. In 2020, Delaware's first black su Supreme Court Justice, Tamika Montgomery Reeves, took the oath of office. She also made history as the youngest person to sit on Delaware's Supreme Court bench. Among many amazing clubs at MPHS, Mount does offer mock trial students interested in the field of law. The mock trial competitions are coming up on February 23rd and 24th for students interested in seeing what it's all about. The highlighted HBCU for today is Benedict College, which, is, which was founded in 1870 and is located in Columbia, South Carolina. Initially, Benedict was a teacher's college, but over time it expanded and now offers many more opportunities. American basketball player Chris Burton and American actor Mike Holter attended Benedict College. Ticket pre-sales for the spring musical Jesus Christ Superstar will continue through Sunday, February 18th. So Jesus Christ Superstar is a rock opera focusing on the last seven days of Jesus, as seen through the eyes of his best friend, Judas. Ticket prices range from $12 for students and $15 for adults. All performances are reserved, seating, advanced purchase is required. To get more information and the presale code, visit www.mphsdrama.com. There will be a student versus staff basketball game on March 8th. If you are interested in participating, signups are on Schoology. The first girls soccer meeting and practice will be on February 26th in room 110. Reach out to Coach Rivera with your name, phone, and email before February 29th if you want to join the team. The last soccer open gym will be this upcoming Tuesday, 20, the 20th, from 6 p.m. to 8.30 p.m. The open gyms will start back after the girls' soccer season ends. If you signed up to be a girls' soccer manager, come to the meeting on Wednesday, February 21st from 2.30 to 3 p.m. in room 110 to meet with Coach Rivera. Only six to eight potential managers will be chosen, and anyone who does not come to the meeting will be automatically removed from the consideration. Oh. Rosa red, visa blue. Buy your yearbooks in two weeks so you don't lose. Make sure to buy your yearbooks by February 26th to guarantee a yearbook. You can buy it at joesteens.com slash yearbook or contact Miss McKnight in the library. It is looking pretty good as someone who's helping to design it, so be sure to get yours ASAP. A quick reminder that the SATs will be held on March 6th all day. Good luck to everyone taking it. I know I'm going to need it. Mm. Now for our sports. Attention, all spring athletes. There will be a large, large group meeting for all spring athletes in the large gym on Monday, February 26th, right after school at 2.30 p.m. All athletes will go directly to practice after the large group meeting, which will take 20 minutes. Don't forget to get your physical physicals in before the season starts so that you're medically cleared to play. Don't forget that Monday is President's Day, so there is, will be no school. Mm -hmm. Do not come on Monday. Today for lunch, your options are chicken and vegetable ramen bowl, spicy chicken tenders, saltine kale, 
with ginger and soy and assorted fruit cups. Today is National Almond Day. I don't know about you, but I love almonds, especially with plenty of salt. Absolutely delicious. <laughs> Lastly, be sure to fill out the link form linked in the video description if you want your announcements here on One Is That Mount. Or go to MPHS Library Schools U page and click the link in the updates. Also, make sure to follow the Instagram page at MPHTV for more awesome student-led content. And check out the Mount Student Newspaper on MPHSNightlyNews.com. That is all for today. Please click the subscribe button and hit that notification bell so whenever we come out with content, you'll be there to see it. Thank you. Have an amazing day. And don't forget that we are accountable, respectful, and engaged because we, we are, are Mount. Mount. Bye. Bye.